Welcome to the Midweek Refuel with Lupus in Color. Today, we're going to be talking about men with lupus. So the Midweek Refuel for 1120 is about men with lupus. We will have an interview with Dion Langley, who is a professional drummer, and he has lupus. And he was sent a couple of questions that I thought might be relevant to letting people know how people are affected who are men that have lupus. So enjoy this interview with Mr. Dion Langley and share the word about men with lupus and let them know that lupus is not just a woman's disease. It's a disease that can affect anyone, including men. Although women are mostly affected with it, um, men are also affected with it. And sometimes they're a a, a forgotten factor um, in lupus. So enjoy this interview with Mr. Dion Langley. Good morning. My name is Dion Langley. I'm a lupus warrior. I've been asked by Lupus in Color to answer some questions on being a male having lupus. Very honored and very humble to do this interview. So I'll jump right in. Um, first question, how did you know something was wrong? I knew something was wrong because I started losing a lot of weight. That was probably the worst factor for me. Um, I lost my appetite, but the weight, the weight loss really triggered something was going wrong with me. How long I've been living with lupus? I had lupus almost 10 years now. Um, I was diagnosed in 2010. And since then, lupus have changed my life dramatically. Um, I'm definitely not the same person. Um, I can't do a lot of the things that I normally would do. I've always been very active on the go. So I had to understand lupus, you know, makes me rest, makes me sit down. Uh, biggest challenge that I have with lupus, I still try to be the normal person that I was before I had it. That's probably the biggest challenge because I always find myself going and people be like, man, you have to rest. And I forget that I have it because I just get out there and I get to go. Uh, symptoms that I experience now is um, with having lupus, I've developed pericarditis. That's a side effect. So, you know, I have chest pains. Um, I really uh, try to manage that. And try to understand that uh, my body has to relax, um, has to be stress free. Um, and I've learned, you know, to eat a whole lot better. So, you know, putting myself in a position to, to live healthier and manage stress, um, that definitely helps. The most common misunderstanding about lupus is a lot of people don't think men have it. That's the biggest misunderstanding. They think it's just a woman's disease. Um, 10% of men have it. And uh, we're really trying to push the, push the promotion product on men with lupus. Um, what advice would I give to people that have lupus? Is you have to understand... You have to be you. You can't be nobody else. You cannot. Your body is not like nobody else in the body. You have to understand your body. You have to understand your limits. And you have to you have to know when is your time to just relax. No one can know your body is up. You. Um, lupus in my career, being a professional drummer, I really have to exert a lot of energy when I'm on stage and you know, doing these shows and doing these events with these different artists. Um, so it really affects me because I can be at a show and I get tired and I still probably got another 15 or 20 minutes to play. So I got to fight through it, especially if we're on the main stage. Uh, I've, I've been hospitalized two times uh, at the peak of my drum career. And I was uh, I was to the point to where I felt like my drum career was about to go to the next level. And when I had a lupus flare, I got hospitalized for about three, about three to four months. And 
the job that I positioned for, I couldn't get it. Um, they ended up giving it to someone else because I was hospitalized. And I really, uh, I really took that hard because I felt like, you know, that was, that was the point of my career that was going to get me to the next level, but I couldn't because I was hospitalized with lupus. Um, being a man, having lupus, people, people don't ask me, do I have lupus? Because when they see me wear my lupus t-shirts or my lupus, you know, gear, the first thing they ask is, wow, someone in your family have lupus? And then I'd be like, no, it's me. Um, and then they give me that strange look. Wow. But it don't bother me. I believe that it gives me an opportunity to spread the word more. And um, I'm not awkward or feel I don't feel funny at all about it. Um, I think in the beginning, my the hardest thing was just letting people know I had it. I think that was the hardest thing. I went two years without saying anything to anyone about having it. Um, so right now it's not any uncomfortable feeling or any type of, you know, uh, uncomfortable position that people can put me in when they do ask me about having lupus. A lot of people say I thought lupus was a women's disease. I get that all the time. And to me, um, I feel like we as men have to help promote lupus for males so that we can get that stigma out of everybody's mind. Um, lupus is a male and a female disease. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that we can uh, add more promotion to the male side for all the lupus warriors out there. Uh, the holidays can be a tiring and stressful time of year. What can people do with lupus to ensure they continue to prioritize self-care? Self-care is very, very important. Uh, one of the biggest, the biggest things that you can do to help keep your lupus in control is you have to take care of yourself. Self-love is the most important thing that you can do. Um, I always tell people that you have to put yourself first. Um, go out and do something that, that makes you feel good. Go out and, you know, go to the spa, get your hair done, get your nails done, do whatever, um, to make you feel good. Just not on the outside, but it's a mental, it's a mental thing too as well. So mentally, you have to stay mentally strong. So do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel good. Um, me, myself, I always try to stay positive all the time. Um, I try to promote positive videos, positive settings, everything, every day. Um, so self-care means so much. You have to love yourself. You have to. And that's very, very important when you have lupus. Have lupus changed the way... I think about myself. Yes. I didn't realize how strong I was. Before I had lupus, I would let anything get to me. I took what people gave me. I never I never realized that I'm mentally strong. I can do I can endure much more. Um a lot of things people say don't bother me as much no more. I had to prioritize my whole thinking. I had to really shift my mindset on what was important in life and what's not important. I had to understand. I had to be around people who loved me. I had to shift my whole circle of friends. Because when people don't understand lupus, they can't sympathize with you. When you have lupus, you have to have people in your circle that really care about you. And it's going back to what we were saying about self-care. You got to love yourself first. When you love yourself first, you'll put yourself around people that love you back. And when you got that love circle, no one can break it. No one can break it. So understand who you are as a person and and the people around you can understand you. But you got to understand yourself first. What role can partners and family members play in helping lupus warriors manage holiday related stress? Going back to what we just said, you have to be around people that honestly 
and truly care about you. I had to reposition myself to a small few that really understand Dion. Everybody's not going to get it. They're not supposed to. But I think you have to understand the circle of people that you have around you that really love you. They understand what lupus means and what lupus does. So put yourself around people that really love you. And I think that, and when you do that, it takes away the stress. Stress, you cannot be stressed and have lupus. It's not, it's not good. I've been there. I've done it. Stress may, look, I've been hospitalized over, over stress. You have to cut that out. Be around people who truly love you. I try hard now to put myself in position to raise awareness as much as possible. Um, I got my hashtag beat lupus, uh, shirts and hoodies I be wearing so that people can see that I'm a male that has lupus. So, um, I try to get the word out as much as possible. So when they see that they ask questions. So when they ask questions, it give me a chance to, to explain to them that yes, I have lupus. And then, um, you know, I began to tell my story and, sh and show the world that, you know, this is a man's disease. Um, by me being a drummer and traveling a lot, I go to different places. Um, I meet a lot of people. So every chance I get when I do, when they do see the Beat Lupus shirts, you know, not, like I say, that that's my opportunity to really talk to them. Um, I try to host a lot of events everywhere I go, um, if possible, to do a little Lupus fundraiser. And... Like I say, I try to embrace lupus as much as possible. Um, if you follow me on any social media, y'all will see how much that I that I promote the lupus. Um, what do I want to tell people, or what people need to know about lupus? People need to know that everyone lupus case isn't the same. Lupus is serious. It is. It's hard because we look good on the outside, but we fight in a serious battle on the inside. You may not see the struggle. You may not see the pain. A lot of times people don't know what I go through when I'm home, when I can't get up, when I want to go and do something, but my body can't move. I believe that people need to understand when we say we're tired, we're tired. When we say we have to rest, we have to rest. And I hope that everyone understands that this is a serious disease that we're working hard each day to promote, to educate, learn more, donate, and put our all into trying to find a cure. I'm going to do all I can anywhere, everywhere I go to promote lupus awareness. And I want the people to know that we will find a cure. I want all the males out there to understand that there's nothing to shy away from. I have it. I've had it for nine years going on 10. The only way we beat this is we have to stand up and face it. I, I've learned to embrace lupus. I've, I've, I've learned to embrace it. I'm so not scared of lupus. So I don't want nobody to be scared. Just be cautious and be careful and understand your body. Understand the do's and don'ts. That's what keeps us here. Thank you, Lupus and Color, for allowing me time to, to share some few points with you about my story and having Lupus, being a male with Lupus. I hope this video was enlightening and 
if you have any questions, please, please reach out to anyone who has lupus to get an answer. Um, my name is Dion Langley. I'm on any social media tab, D-I-O-N-L-A-N-G-L-E-Y. You can hit me up. Any males that, that don't feel comfortable, email me, drumforlupus at gmail.com. That's drum number four, lupus at gmail.com. We in this battle together. 